Hey guys, today I'll show you how to kill Krill Tsutsuroth with the Alter Door method, which is pretty much the same method as I showed you for Bandos, but with a few twists. This is slightly harder because you have to get the timing on the first hit right, but it's still relatively easy and it will give you some quick kills and an actual insane amount of kills per trip if you get it down. You'll need to have some good stats to do this, so you get the kills fast enough so that you never run out of run energy. I'd recommend you have at least 90 ranged, 74 prayer with rigor unlocked and 75 agility. Because the minions don't drop bones, we'll also need to bring blood barrage to sustain, which requires 92 magic to cost. For the gear, you'll need to have the Bofa with the crystal armor. This is the only weapon you can use because it's the only good 4 tick weapon. Ideally, you're also on a greater demon slayer task, so you can use a slayer helm here. Get yourself a necklace of anguish, barrels gloves and zami dehyde boots. I choose to bring the ring of suffering so I don't get hit quite as often, but you could replace this with an archer's ring, a ring of the gods or a ring of endurance. If you have some more cash to spend, upgrade to the zaride van braces and pegasian boots and perhaps bring an unholy blessing as your zami item then. For the inventory, you'll want to bring your mage switch for barraging, I actually bring a 4-way switch because I often couldn't finish the minions in time with a 3-way switch, so I brought the Aram stop for some extra accuracy. You can of course upgrade to the Ancestral top and a Kodai wand, which would be really nice, so you can freeze the melee air when barraging. I also bring the blowpipe to kill the mage minion and to heal up. Also bring 3 bastion potions, 2 anglerfish, 4 brews and 8 super restores. I also bring 2 sandfew serums in case I get hit and poisoned. I bring a stamina potion because sometimes you just get unlucky with the hits and run out of run energy. You probably won't need this if you're on task. I also bring the explorer's ring 4 so I can alk some of the rune drops and restore my run energy 3 times a day. You always want to alk the rune drops right away so you don't have all that weight wasting your run energy. Also bring your rune pouch with blood, death and soul runes to cause blood barrage and your teleport out. If you're just starting out, I'd recommend replacing a Bastion Potion and 5 Super Restores with extra food in case you mess up a lot. Before heading in, tag Krill with the NPC Indicators plugin and check the Highlight Tile and Show Respawn Timer boxes. Turn on Tile Indicators and check the Highlight True Tile box. This will show you which tile your character is currently at. You'll also want to import these tiles by copying the text in the description and then right clicking the world map to import the tiles with the ground markers plugin. The red tiles are where you want to shoot from when moving towards the altar and the green tiles are where you want to shoot from when moving towards the door. Having the sound effects enabled so you can hear your shots will also help a lot and make sure your bow is set to rapid or this method won't work. You have to stand on the shoot altar tile and wait for the boss to spawn. Make sure your run energy is on, you're potted up and activate protect from ranged and rigor. When he spawns, you have to wait one tick, he will take a step towards you, shoot him and click on the altar. As soon as you reach the first red tile and it turns blue, hit the boss. This will push you one tile to the east, don't worry, this is normal. Then continue to the next red tile and shoot him and run to the shoot door tile. There you'll have to hit the boss and click on the door. As soon as you reach the first green tile and it turns blue, click to attack the boss. This will push you one tile to the west, again this is to be expected. Just keep repeating this back and forth until the boss is dead. With this method you can't lose any ticks, so you have to attack as soon as you reach your tile and you have to move to the next tile as soon as you hear your arrow shot. If it's your first time trying this out, I'd recommend just keeping protect from melee up in case you mess up, which is to be expected. After you've killed the boss, turn your run energy off and kill the major, Balfra Kriath, with your blowpipe, use your special attacks to heal up. Then bring the melee minion to the ranger and blood barrage them to get back to full health. You'll also want to try prayer flicking between the minion's attacks or you might run out of food if you go a bit dry on shark and tuna potato drops. To set up the first kill of the trip, I like to enter the room with protect from melee up and run one tile west of the easternmost marked tile and make sure Krill is to the west of me. Then as soon as the boss hits you, click on the door to run through him. As soon as you're one tile west of the next marked green tile, shoot him and then continue as usual. This is also the method you want to use when you mess up and you have to reset the kill or if the boss spawns in a different location. You could also tank a hit one tile east of the shoot altar tile and click on the altar, that will work the same way. 
If you get really good, you can even try resetting by staying ready on the eastern or westernmost tile and click on the altar or door just at the right time to run through him without taking any damage. Though this will take a lot of trial and error to learn, but it will prevent you from getting hit by the boss altogether. If you have to heal up during the fight, I'd recommend drinking a Ceratomin brew in between hits, just make sure you don't miss any ticks between your attacks. You also can't drink any potions or brews when you're performing the red click to run underneath and through him, or the method will be ruined. With this method, I've been getting an average of 30 kills per trip off task, and about 25 kills per hour, and with the drop rates of the Zami Spear, you can expect a nice 15 mil drop for yourself every 4 trips. This method was also discovered by GE Challenge M, so definitely go check out his channel for some more awesome content. If you liked this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button and flick the bell icon so you don't miss out on my future guides. Check out my God Wars Dungeon playlist on screen now if you want to try out any of the other God Wars bosses. Thanks so much for watching, see ya!